show you go like you know me let's run away together go and live by the sea yeah i know a place and it's pretty far away where we could leave tomorrow and be there by saturday well it is pretty simple but that is all we need we would have each other and if off the coconut seed i know you love the ocean and you love the sun we could take our clothes off and have some fun and We'll grow old like two leather bags Leave footprints on the beach as we walk through the sand We'll grow old like two leather bags If the sun kiss our skin as we run hand in hand Shoes and dresses, who needs them when you have your bikini and the clear ocean and when the sun ain't watching and the moon's... And the random task is testing this at-home jewelry cleaning recipe, which is very strange, but I basically have all this silver jewelry that's kind of like semi-rusted or dirty, and instead of getting it professionally cleaned, I've taken a bowl, lined it with aluminum foil, take some baking soda, you put it in the bowl, Oh, that was a lot. You take all your silver jewelry, old Tiffany charm bracelet. Okay, hopefully you can see it, but it's like rusted brown and it's supposed to be shining silver. Oh my God, I really hope this doesn't mess up the jewelry. But you put it in the bowl, then you take boiling water and you pour it over and then you mix it around. This is boiling water. For some reason I just had a vision of this like Loading. It's supposed to be a little chemical reaction going on. Something feels so wrong about mixing with a metal fork. Okay, I'm definitely seeing baking soda bubbles like stick to the really dirty piece of jewelry. It honestly smells like hot pizza crossed with a hot fart. <laughs> it's like not that bad of a smell, but there's like it's giving a little bit of pizza and a little bit of fart. Okay, actually I am seeing little particles of dirt float up in the water. Something has happened, all the baking soda dissolved, and, oh, this is really hot. Just rinsed it off. It doesn't look like brand spanky new, but it's silver again as opposed to that gross brown. I have a lot of these rings. Like, here are the rings I wear every day, and do you see how they have those, like, tiny grooves you can't really clean on your own? Those must have been filled with, like, tiny little things of dirt, because they look extra, like, way, way cleaner than they did before, but I didn't consider those, like, dirty. Those were just, like, the test, the test jewelry pieces. I'm gonna go get dinner tonight with my dad, TJ, and a family friend at a new Michelin-starred restaurant called... Le Jardinier. I know, great accent by me. So I'm a little bit late because I just finished up work and I'm trying to decide if I should do a white jacket or black jacket. Here's the black jacket. Maybe I should just like, it's not that cold out. Uh, okay, I think it's gonna be white. This purse is so dangerous because there's one zip pocket but then these other two flaps are just totally loose keys hair tie wallet i don't even know what kind of food this restaurant serves but i know it's like vegetable forward i think all white and then brown boots okay let's go <laughs> together a birthday gift for Anna. Tomorrow we are celebrating her birthday, which is next Tuesday. First, we have a little birthday queen sash and then a birthday tiara crown. The only thing is I tried on the crown 
to just like kind of make sure it would fit and it is so small. I have like a little bit of a bigger head than a normal person, but not that much bigger. And it like barely fits, like this is squeezing my head so much. Imagine winning Miss America or Miss Universe and the crown just like doesn't fit. Or, or you win Miss Universe and then they put the crown on you and it looks like this. And then you just like have no choice but to kind of like look like this. Classic like knife toothpick. Uh, you guys know this is this is a very popular design for women's and girls like hair pieces. Oh my god. Okay. And I recently ran a half marathon randomly. Oh my god. My head hurts so much from the crown. <laughs> so her gift is this Lululemon sports bra. This is the Energy Longline bra. And I thought this was cute. And then like this is a little bit more athleisure, but it's a little forest green cropped hoodie from Aloe. It's called the Muse hoodie in midnight green. Ooh. I'm gonna do some reading in bed. These are the two books I was going in between choosing. These are my next two books. It ends with us and Happy Go Lucky by David Sedaris. And first of all, this book has been recommended to me by a lot of people, including someone in the comments, I'm pretty sure. But it's pretty dense, 400 pages, and I don't know exactly what it's about, but I know that there is like some kind of really emotionally charged relationship in it. So I kind of want to read this when I'm in a setting to binge it if I want to, like on a vacation maybe, or like when work is slow, I can kind of just like read the whole thing in one sitting if need be. So I'm starting this. Not that I'm a David Sedaris expert, but if you are someone who is trying to find a book to read by the pool, trying to find a book to read on an airplane when you're not a person who likes to read on the airplane, trying to find a book to read before bed because you're trying to get out of your social media habit and you want to be a person who reads a book before bed, you should buy and read David Sedaris' book Calypso. It is very easy to digest, it's really easy to pick up, put down, you don't have to memorize a whole string of characters. The book will make you cry and laugh within one page multiple times. It doesn't make your head spin, it's, it's just regular human English speak, nothing fancy, you're not going to be googling words. Actually, I think Calypso is one of my favorite books now that I think about it. It's very good. Anyways, that's why I have no idea what Happy Go Lucky is about, but I saw David Sedaris' name on the byline and I knew it would be good. And here's how it goes. Top three best pizza spots in New York City, according to me, not in order, Champion Pizza, Sophia's Pizza, and Prince Street Pizza. Now, Champion Pizza and Sophia's got on the list because of emotional connections. Like, the pizza is incredible, but I've got great memories of my dad at Champion's. And then great memories of my mom at Sophia's. Prince Street Pizza, I stumbled upon on my own. And it's extremely famous. They, the line is always out of control. It's in Soho. This morning, I woke up with a massive craving for a slice of Prince Street Pizza. I also had a craving for a glass of Sauvignon Blanc, which was weird because it was like 6 in the morning. But today, before I go to lunch at Margot, uh, which is by Washington Square Park. I'm gonna go to Soho, grab a slice of Prince Street pizza, gobble that up, not spill any of it on my white blouse, and then I'm gonna be on with my day. Not only does Prince Street pizza not have an emotional connection for me, it actually is a negative tie to it. I went on a first date with someone and we were like, let's just grab a slice of Prince Street pizza. Um, It'll be quick and easy. But the day we got in line, the oven broke and we didn't know it. So we waited in line for three and a half hours in the freezing cold. It was like dead February. And um, he was really just not good at conversations. Or maybe I wasn't, but we had it. It was so bad. But we had been waiting in line for so long. Every time one of us wanted to kind of like end things. Well, I don't think he wanted to end things actually. I Because he seems like he had a great time. But every time I wanted to get out of that, date. I was like, I've already been waiting in line for like two hours, so I'm going to quit now. And then I should have just cut my losses, obviously. I know that now. The pizza was great, but I had to go home immediately afterwards. This outfit isn't exactly my style, but you know what? I bought this sweater vest, Marshalls. Incredible. Incredible deal. 
and I just told myself I'd figure out how to style it and I haven't really figured out how to style it so we are gonna have to just keep testing it a little rainy out so I need to wear this trench coat I don't like it I don't like this outfit it wasn't working we switched to skirt brown boots um, and then an extra large brown bag because I want to carry Anna's birthday gift this green rain jacket instead of the trench, and it looks like I'm wearing no pants. I think this is better. Oh, thanks for getting me here. I just had this for the first time. I heard weeks ago. First time at Prince a few weeks ago. All right, we finally got our slices. Not a three hour wait, just 10 minutes. Okay, after, wait, where are we going after? Oh, the ordinary. And the little cutting shop. Oh yeah, okay. Let's hit it. Um. Oh, that's fine. Where's it right there? It's incredible. We're gonna go to Margot. Oh, is that like on top of the building or something? Yeah, but there and there's like they have a group chat of four people. The ordinary. We may or may not buy one thing for Greg. TBD. How good they are. Oh my God, the store is really deep. Whoa, it's so long. Whoa. So industrial. Wait, um, fine lines. Something tightening. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, but look at this, Greg. <gasps> oh. What is that? I don't know. What'd you get? So it is a multi-peptide HA serum. Multi-peptide? Okay, well, that's a huge step down. This smells and feels exactly how I expected it yeah. to. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good looking one. Oh, oh god, Greg. Is it just dye or is it built different? I don't know. <laughs> is it built different? <laughs> oh shit. Nice. Oh my god. I've also never been a cupcake like this where I'm like, I don't need to <laughs> we're gonna go for a walk. And then you gotta like get the engines back up and running. And what's Kit doing selling this nightmare? <laughs> yeah, that. Well, Do you ever think there's anything creepy about yeah, when birds all like, oh no. Why was she last though? I know. I, I, yeah. I mean, that's not a reason enough for me to leave. But think about it, Greg, if you had to like write. No, I did, but there's not enough to get me there yet. I love these. Damn. We are waiting for everyone at Margot, which is over there. Super cute. Greg, doing some work. And <laughs> I got a champagne and a matcha. It's kind of a weird move, but good combo. The caffeine and then a little extra happiness. Julia, Anna's the birthday queen. Wait, birthday Anna, queen. the crown. Christina made it the birthday. <laughs> <laughs> the birthday queen. Moch, Liv. Hello. Beautiful outdoor courtyard. Oh, I love it. Look at Greg's ears. <laughs> yeah, the wind kind of makes them like a little airplane. <laughs> it's always like you're gonna fly. <laughs> yeah. Oh my too. god. Anyways, now we're gonna go to Bloomingdale's. We're at a little Bloomingdale's bar and we both just got a drink <laughs> in a city cup. What is that, Greg? This is a canned Moscow mule. And this is oh, a Sauvignon Blanc. Nice. Cheers. Um, Greg and I are on glasses two and three. Oh, true. The dude does ah. Yeah, he was cool. We were like, can we each get a double serving of wine? He was like, yeah, I'm just gonna charge you for one though. And we are like, ah. We'll be back. So far we've purchased nothing, but we've gossiped a lot. <laughs> now we wanted to get dinner and a drink at a bar but hmm. instead decided to get Whole Foods hot bar and buy our wine and guess what guys we bought a bottle hmm. of wine that was literally the price of one drink each at the Bloomingdale's bar in an hour I have to go way uptown um, to get a facial at 730 you, but why did I make a facial at 730 on a Saturday 
They're probably like, are you sure? <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna be doing anything. <laughs> Quick round of two player code names. Blue or red, take a pick. Blue. <laughs> Blue's just like alliance, red is like the bad guys. <laughs> so true. Good morning, happy Sunday. This is my face day one after the facial. It kind of takes, ooh. It kind of takes a couple days for my face to go back to looking normal, but I like to get a facial once every two months. And especially before I travel a lot to just clean everything out. So that's what we did last night. Oh my God. Are you guys okay? That was the biggest fall. I don't know what just happened. My camera just fell off the table. That was what I did last night. I've got to go to Pilates right now with Julia. And I hate Pilates. I would much rather, I mean, I don't really like doing workout classes in general, who does? But I would much rather do some kind of like aggressive hit class that's like boom, 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 intense exercise than these like really slow moving core things that I'm bad at, but. Oh well. Hey guys, beautiful day in New York City today. I'm even wearing sunscreen, mostly to protect my facial from last night, but also because it's actually sunny and a little bit warm outside. I'm gonna go to the West Village to a place called Oscar's Place to get second brunch with some of my girlfriends. And then whatever I do after that, it's just probably gonna be like chill, come home, get ready for the week. But you guys, this is the last vlog in New York City for a while because I am off on a string of adventures starting this coming weekend. Okay, I'll just give you a little preview. We're gonna go skiing in Colorado for a week and then we are headed to Italy and France and having a week of adventures there and then back to New York City. So we're gonna end this video here and pick it up in a different state. Whew! Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.